Shout out to D Green with this man. Hey. Malika Andrews, you are getting exposed. Even the X Man, Des Bryant, is on your ass. Des Bryant directly added Malika Andrews on Twitter. No subliminals from Des Bryant. This is directly added at Malika. You went out your way to crucify Brandon Miller on draft day over something he didn't do. On Brandon Miller's biggest and maybe best day of his life. Malika Andrews just comes out of nowhere and brings up this case that he even wasn't involved in. On the biggest day of his life, Malika Andrews, Des Bryant continues. Why haven't you said anything about Josh Giggity? Now, we all know the potential trouble that Josh Giggity is in. If you haven't been living under a rock like Patrick Starr, we know what type of trouble Josh Giggity is in. Giggity, giggity, goo. But for some reason, if you don't know, check out my past videos. Des Bryant continues. I advise you not to make this a black or white thing. And here's where Des Bryant really gets on her ass. Your parents really raised you wrong? And just because you went to private school don't make you better? This man, Des Bryant, is coming for your entire family, Malika. That's tough. You appeal and I know you're kind. Oh my gosh. You just a puppet. Oh my gosh! This man Des called you a puppet. Bro, there's a lot of people in this broadcasting world that don't even have a true voice. They just read from a computer screen and you know what I'm saying? Are basically controlled. And that's what Des Bryan is calling Malika. A ESPN puppet. Bro, there's a lot of people that don't fuck with Malika. But you'll see why. Just continue watching this video. Des Bryant continues. I don't know how a former or current NBA player could sit there across from you and look at you with some kind of respect. Now, when Des Bryant pressed send on this tweet, he was trying to end your career. This man, Des Bryant, is on your ass. He said you shouldn't be respected. You're a puppet. Your parents raised you wrong? This man completely violated the fuck out of Malika. But let me give you a couple more details about why. Malika Andrews is literally one of those, bro. And what do I mean by one of those? Based off of her history, many people believe Malika Andrews hates black men. Malika Andrews just loves talking negative about all black athletes. We already went over the Brandon Miller situation about how she brung that up for literally no reason. But do y'all remember former Celtics coach? You know, the one that was uh, dating or married to Nia Long and he got suspended for clapping the cheeks of someone on the Celtic staff. Malika Andrews has so much energy when trying to cancel other black men. We are not here, Stephen A., to further blame women. That is not why we are here. First of all. Let me be very clear. I don't appreciate where you're going with that. She continuously goes overboard when trying to input her two cents. And she's done this plenty of times. Even with current Celtics head coach. Youngest head coach at 34 years old. And we'd be remiss not to also mention that Missoula was arrested twice at West Virginia, once in 2008 for underage drinking and aggravated assault. 
And you want to know what's crazy? She was on a Duco's head for clapping the cheeks of someone on the Celtic staff. But you want to know what's fucked up? She's dating this nigga. Who's literally part of the ESPN staff. You hypocritical motherfucker. This white guy is literally clapping your cheeks every day. And like I said, Malika Andrews does not like black men. She doesn't even fuck one. Now, Malika Andrews was silent for so long regarding these Josh Giddy allegations. And a lot of people says it's because Josh Giddy is not black. The streets have been saying if Josh Giddy was black, Malika Andrews would have reported this instantly. instantly. But Malika finally addressed the accusations in like a 40 second ESPN bit. Bro, look at her face, bro. She was literally probably held at gunpoint to report this, bro. Everything inside of her, she did not want to do this, bro. You know her job and even more was on the line if she did not report this. She was not happy with this. Had an improper relationship with an underage girl. In a since deleted post, an anonymous social media user claimed a girl who was seen with Giddy in videos and images, some of which include explicit captions, was a junior in high school at the time. Giddy, who was 21, he declined to comment on Friday. And despite the serious allegations, Giddy is yet to miss a game this season. And Thunder coach Mark Dagonald, he said he will continue to be in the lineup, saying, quote, just with the information we have at this point, that is the decision we've made. It's obviously a league matter at this point, and the ball is in their court on that. Now, a league spokesperson told me this morning that the NBA is still in the process of gathering information, and we will continue to update this story as the news develops. And, and bro, I apologize for this blurry-ass clip. This is the only clip I could find of her reporting this. Bro, whoever recorded this, you need a new phone, my nigga. Man's recorded this off the iPhone 3. Get a new phone, bro. Sweaty ass phone fogging up. I thought this was me at first. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. God damn it. But just from these accusations alone... Josh Giddy is losing out on millions with Australian brand deals simply off these accusations, man. And some news reporter came for Des Bryant and said, How you have more smoke for Malika Andrews than Josh Giggity, who dated a underage girl? Allegations the NBA is looking into. But Des Bryant has time today. He clapped back. She's married, bro. She don't want you. Oh my gosh. The news reporter was trying to clap Malika's cheeks. She doesn't fuck with black guys, news reporter. Des Bryant said I got smoked with her because she tried to ruin Brandon Miller's draft moment. Which is facts. She tried to ruin the best day of this man's life. He's going to have kids one day. And I'm sure that clip will appear again. You media people know exactly what y'all are doing. Don't ask questions like I'm not hip to the bullshit. Now W. Des Bryant for having no filter and saying exactly what you wanted. Now I'm not a Cowboys fan. But you used to play for my Ravens, my nigga. So I will always be a fan of Des Bryant. W. Des Bryant. But to keep updated on this whole Josh Giggity situation, make sure you're subscribed, man. And by the way, Ravens will be the 2024 Super Bowl champs. I'll see y'all in the next one. It's a parade inside my city. No, 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 it's not, my nigga. It's definitely not a parade inside your city.